All right, hi Taurus, this is going to be your Capricorn season message. All right, this is for Taurus placement, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, so we're going to see what you guys need to know for Capricorn season. Okay. So we have surrender to the divine, full moon. All right, so Taurus, some of you guys could be trying to control an outcome to a situation or control something that is out of your control and you're going to have to surrender. We got the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. A lot of full moon energy here so far, okay? You got two full moon cards. Let's get one more. <laughs> and then we have full moon and Scorpio, release negativity, okay? So again, all full moon cards here, Taurus. And then we have fixed moon. Hold your vision. So some of you guys may have a fixed moon. You could have a Scorpio, Leo, um, Taurus, or Aquarius moon. Okay, you could have those energies somewhere in your chart here, right? But hold your vision. So Taurus, yes, you are going to achieve something. Yes, you are going to receive something. But it may not come in a way that you're expecting it. So you're needing to surrender. Everything you need to know is going to come when it's supposed to come. You don't have to go digging. You don't have to go searching. You don't have to go lurking. What you need is going to be coming to you, okay? And with this, it's time to release negativity, full moon, and Scorpio, which is your sister sign, right? So I feel like, yeah, something is going to be coming full circle here at some point. But what's the surrender to the divine? The tourist placements. We got growth. Okay, yeah, you guys, your perspective, your con something is shifting here. All right. So in order for something, this 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 surrender to the divine gives me like hangman energy. So this is something needs to be. So something could be suspended for the time being because you need to surrender it. You need to let it go. You need to release. But get your release your grip on something. Release control. What's this? The, the answers you need are coming. We got slow but steady that flew out, okay? The answer to me is coming. And we have anger. Okay, so, all right. What's this? It's time to release negativity. <laughs> and we have emotional release. I'm going to get another card for this. The answers you need are coming. Some of you guys, when you do find something out, it could upset you. Maybe you guys found something out during Sagittarius season or this month that could have really upset you this could be in regards to finances love okay or somebody in your family or someone you know but um what's this the answers you need are coming for Taurus placements for Capricorn season right now <laughs> and we have new beginnings yeah so that's better and then we have ancient wisdom so some of you guys are very wise you guys are the hero font in tarot you guys could be teachers spiritual gurus or uh, spiritual leaders you guys could do some type of counsel for others right you may work at a hospital um yeah but something there's again and also we have retrograde so there may be some things that are going to be coming up that are going to help you kind of fully release certain stuff also there's something here about so we got the third house here with this Gemini energy and we got the eighth house, which is Scorpio's energy. So some of you guys may talk for work. You could have a platform. You may be a teacher, a scholar, a student, right? You may have to socialize. But I just feel like something here, the, again, something, the answers you need to something is what's going to help you with this new beginning. It's going to help you move forward. There's growth, new beginnings, and emotional release. All right. What's this growth card here? We got, oh, shut the fuck up. We got Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. So something is growing, Taurus. I don't, if you, I'm telling you, you don't have to, don't, you don't have to worry. Ace of Pentacles here. Some of you guys may like pomegranates or you, or you guys could be planting pomegranates here. Some of you guys could be wanting to start planting your own foods and maybe start with pomegranates. I'm getting for some of you. You got a page of pentacles. I'm telling you, there's, some, there's good news coming in in regards to your finances. You guys could be planting seeds. This could be a loan. Some of you guys are going to be receiving a loan. Your money is going to be growing. You guys could ha already have a business that's doing well and now you're going to have a new one or there's a new uh, a business opportunity or a new creative whatever endeavor or whatever. Something here is growing. Something's going to be solid and stable there's growth here yes something's being solidified you just have to so all you have to do Taurus is surrender all you have to do is surrender for this all you're being asked to do is surrender because it's already here really it's here 
it may just be put on hold because you need to release your control. And this could be a new start. This could be something, a relationship, love, money, career, a pro whatever. It could be health. It could be anything. It's here. You have to surrender to the divine and let this come in when it's supposed to. Let this fall in your lap. Let this come to you. Whatever it is, whatever whether it's a person, an opportunity, whatever, money, let it come, let it fall to you. What's this world here? This could be an idea. Yeah, we got judgment here. All right. Yeah, some of you guys, yeah, the judgment card. Yeah, this could be something about answering your calling here. Okay, that could be what some of you guys are doing. Some of you guys are kind of, some of you guys may be going against your judgment or you may be afraid of making the wrong decision. But I also want to say, Taurus, don't be so hard on yourself on certain lessons or certain things that you've experienced or that you've chosen to endure. Be more compassionate. Look back with compassion for yourself. Be less judgmental on yourself and others. All right? That's what's, that's the growth here. Don't be so judgmental. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your chart, whether tropical or side reel. Don't be so judgmental. All right? What's the growth here? <laughs> have six of wands yeah i'm telling you victory recognition yeah then the seven of pentacles here something is growing some of you guys could be pregnant okay some of you guys could be going public with this here but i'm also getting there's growth the seven of pentacles is reaping what you sown you guys are planting a seed here and it's growing again seven of pentacles talks about divine timing as well something's gonna happen it's just gonna be it just may be a bit slow but trust me it's, it's happening it's growing Something once, something that was once just a seed, a, 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 an idea, or something that you just planted or just started is now at the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? But we have, some of you guys could be getting a promotion, a new job. Some of you guys could be in the public eye. Okay? People are looking up to you here. You're, some of you guys are a leader. Right? Some of you guys could be getting a new position of leadership in some way, whether it's being a parent, at a, a being becoming a CEO, a boss, a manager, a mentor, something, a, becoming an older sibling, or whatever it is. There's something here that you're getting recognized for. Some of you guys, this is a new car, a new vehicle. All right? Some of you guys may like horses here. Somebody may like to ride horses. You guys are getting a, there's a victory here. You guys could have gone through a lot of conflict. You guys could have fought your way to this. There could have been a lot of competition, a lot of things that you have to fight off, whether it's your own thoughts, your own energy, you know, fighting with yourself, competing with others, or competing with your old self, whatever. But you're getting a victory out of something, okay? It's here. Something is growing. You are growing, Taurus. And not fucked fuck out of here nine of pentacles to the, the ace of pentacles to the fucking nine of pentacles bitch growth i'm telling you there's growth all something that you put a lot of time a lot of time and effort into taurus is growing or it's, it's, it's gonna grow you go from the it's even better I, I thought the seven was good. <laughs> you thought you thought that, Taurus, I feel like something's going to happen when you're like, oh, wait, something. the universe is saying you thought that was good. I got even more for you. I got even more. You thought what I was giving you before, you thought what I was giving you before was something? Nah, I got something even better. Just sit back, hold tight. <laughs> There's something even better. <laughs> hold on, let me write that down for you guys' uh, for your title. Because y'all may not, y'all y'all could be doubting something because it's not coming in at the pace. Some of you guys are being impatient. You guys are side real Aries. Okay, so uh, yeah, it could be something about patience, right? Let me just write this down. <laughs> yeah, there's something better. Yeah, there's something even better. You're getting, you're getting even more. <laughs> you're getting more than you, you get more than what you you get more than you expect. That may be a secondary title. Uh, sometimes I can't decide. Yeah, all you gotta do is sit tight. You get more than what you expect, Taurus. 
<laughs> okay, more than you expect. We got chariot here, which is Cancerian energy. And we are in the year seven. We are coming up into the year seven, which is 2023. So this is the, the, the year of the chariot. So things are going to be progressing or things are going to be stuck and stagnant. It all depends on you, your mindset, your perspective, and how much you trust in the universe, okay? How much faith you have in yourself and the divine plan. Ace of Pentacles. Because your divine plan and your divine timing may not be the same. Your timing, it may not be the same as divine. It's never, it's usually not. Ace of Pentacles. So just sit back and enjoy the ride. Taurus, be patient. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. Yeah, you may not see something coming. Or somebody could be trying to strategize. We got the Emperor here, Aries energy here. Okay, the Lovers, Gemini. This could be like a twin flame dynamic if you subscribe to that. You may not see something coming. Or somebody could be strategizing on how to give you something. Or uh, this could be you. Mm, what's the Seven of Swords? This is like strategizing. What's the Seven of Swords? This is deception, lies, trickery. You may feel like somebody's trying to take something from you. Or somebody could be trying to take an opportunity from you, Taurus. Especially if this is in the place of work. Or this is what you, if you do something for what people recognize you. Somebody here could be trying to tarnish your image or your reputation. All right. Yeah. Hmm. This, this could be a boss. Um, somebody in a higher position than you. Or somebody that does the same work as you. Or just somebody who's a hater. Right? Seven of Swords. Somebody, this could be anybody. Fam. Yeah, Hierophant. So this could be what you. This is your energy, Taurus. So this is a lesson for you guys, or you've been a lesson. You taught somebody a lesson. Some of you guys could be married or in some type of higher level commitment. Okay. Or yeah, this could be a hospital institution. Again, you guys could be teachers. Something is teaching you guys a lesson, and this is why you're, you're, you're for something. So something, maybe you guys missed out, or you snaked yourself out of an opportunity, or somebody else did, or something, does something happen, whether it's self-deception or deception from another person, is to teach you a lesson here about surrendering and releasing control. All right, what's this hero font? Yeah, the four wands. This could be, okay, so this could be about a home, a marriage. Somebody could have tried to steal something from your home. Be careful of robberies and shit like that. So this, somebody may try to take a lot of jewelry, a lot of items, a big item here. This could be like an engagement ring um, or this can be like um, a car. Somebody could try to vandalize your car, have something happen to your car here. This could be even somebody in your family or somebody here that in your neighborhood I'm getting to. The four wands is home, family, celebration yeah I'm also thinking this could be a marriage here somebody could be somebody could be um wanting to marry you or trying to strategize on how to propose to some of you for some of you or this is you for some of y'all okay for some oh this could have been somebody that you were living with somebody that you were married to maybe had kids with or something that could have stolen from you it's it's a few things but there's growth here I'm getting so there could be something going to the next level, but you're gonna or you the four of wands is twin flame too, right? Again, if you who, if whoever subscribes to that, something is growing here, but you may not see. So you could be getting frustrated. You need to surrender and focus on yourself. I don't. It's not enough to just focus on your. your okay, some of you guys, your money looks good, but you're too. You're busy. You're too obsessing mentally and emotionally and energetically about this person or about something, which is why it's not coming. Or you feel like you may not even see it. There's a new opportunity that may be, what's the judgment? I can go on and on about that, but let's not waste too much time. What's the judgment here? <laughs> yeah, the lover's card. Uh, and we got the ten of cups, Taurus. So some of you guys, yeah, this is a lot. So some of y'all could be getting pregnant here. This could be with your twin or your divine masculine or feminine. Again, if you subscribe to that, if you subscribe to that. Right? I know everybody's like, on oh, that twin flame stuff. If you subscribe to it, I have to, you know... Some people do, some people don't. I gotta speak for everybody. All right, but such as something with family here, right? Um, this is happiness. Some of you guys, this is you're getting your wish fulfillment in something here. Your calling. This could be your calling. Some of you guys want. Some of you guys, you are gonna have your dream family. Okay, what's this ten of cups? Uh, 
the page of wands and oh okay so i gotta take this the page of wands and the love this is you have good news coming in this is a lot of some of y'all gonna be having a lot of sex this could be makeup set oh child heavy twin flame energy taurus heavy twin flame energy heavy twin flame energy here this could be same sex for some of you guys okay male or female man to man woman to woman doesn't matter But this is a lot of like passion, a lot of intent. Somebody here could be fantasizing about sex with you or getting you pregnant. I don't know, some of y'all are pregnant or you will be. This is about, yeah, some of you guys are expanding your families with somebody here, okay? This, some of you guys could be husbands, fathers, or mother, mothers or wives, or you're going to be. What's the six of wands? Ooh, Taurus, okay. The Capricorn season with Taurus, Taurus placement for Capricorn season. Yeah, the emperor. So some of you guys do have your own business here. Aries energy. Uh, some, okay, yeah, some of you guys could be entrepreneurs. Again, four of pentacles in reverse. Releasing control. Releasing, you know, some of you guys are hoarding stuff, hoarding your money or penny pinching. You need to not overspend, but don't over, don't be so, you, you, you're on, don't be so black and white with when it comes to money. All right, but I'm getting like you guys could be, some of you guys are, could be getting a new position here at work. All right. Some of you guys may be even getting a new home. Just be mindful of people rob or robbing you or because you may have a really nice home. You have nice things and people may be jealous of that. So be careful of somebody trying to take something of you may think somebody's trying to take something that's yours. But the divine sees everything. You're still getting something and you're going to get more than what you you're going to get more than what you expected because of this. I know in your last reading, it was given people, it was like some weird, like people doing death spells and jealous and this, 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 and that. Just know you are going to get more than what's owed to you. But I'm getting some of you guys could be, again, in the public eye. You could have something here that's going to be growing. You could have been working at something for a while, years, and you're getting, you're finally going to be getting the, rec the recognition that you deserve, or you are, you already do, or you're getting more of it. Some of you guys are getting a new job position, a new um, of author position of authority, whether it's a mentor, supervisor, manager, CEO, you know, something here, right? I also feel like somebody sees you as husband material. Somebody sees you as their, as being your husband or something. This is Emperor here. We got the star card, Aquarius energy. I, yeah, I feel like some of y'all don't even, and again, with the emperor, this could be male or female, the, uh, death card, Scorpio energy, something, yeah, heavy Scorpio energy, somebody's in love with you, Taurus, or there's heavy feelings here, oh, the queen and king of cups, this could be a water sign, this could be a Gemini cancer cusp or a Scorpio Libra cusp, but there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, somebody could have rejected you here, or you could have rejected them, or Somebody could have just felt rejected because of their own wounds and their own issues. And I feel like there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This person's going to want to give to you equally. All right? If they were being stingy or selfish, they're going to want to give more to you, especially as you focus on yourself. Some of you guys look real good. Your titties look good. Your hair looks good. You dress nice. You wear nice stuff. Your home is nice. You're comfortable. You're sitting on a cushion. Like you don't. Some of you guys could be retired. Like you don't have to do too much. All right? But the star card talks about, again, I'm getting heavy public eye. You guys are in the public eye here. There's also good news coming in here about a choice you could have made or something about from a family member or about a child here, right? What's the star card? Yeah, Ten of Swords here. Again, there's accept something needs to be accepted here. There could have been some type of betrayal or some type of painful ending with someone. This could have been your, your divine counterpart. This could be from a father figure. Maybe you guys didn't get the type of recognition and validation you wanted from your father. And therefore, you maybe you never really saw yourself as deserving of certain positions and things in life because you weren't recognized um, by that type of authority figure, which is maybe your father or mother. So this may be something that you could be healing a lot of family issues, a lot of inner child wounds here at this time. And you and this and for some of you guys maybe if you are even if you are, if you are on a twin flame journey or not you're a mask and this has been coming out for everybody's reading so far and i feel like as a collective everybody is going through this right because everybody has masculine and feminine energies you guys are learning to fuse that together especially if you didn't especially if you didn't get that from a, a parent Especially if you had a parent who made you feel small, who didn't validate you. You may have subconsciously tried to seek that out through another person. Especially if they especially if they have certain qualities of the parent who didn't validate you. So now this is coming time for you to, to fuse that together so you can validate yourself and accept, you know, 
all that pain so you can focus on the silver lining which is this yellow the sun still the sun still shines and it's been a painful road Taurus I'm not gonna sit there and tell and some of you guys may have a hard time healing from this or trusting this person or seeing the light or some of you guys may be losing faith losing optimism okay lacking direction but you're you know again a person's decisions or actions have nothing to do with you and your value and your worth as a person nine of pentacles some of you guys are single or you're even if you're married or with somebody, you're independent, you're still self-sufficient. Yeah, some of you guys are very hard working here. You could be nurses, counselors. Okay, you may do you may work with kids for some of you guys. Okay, or you could be single moms or just or single fathers or parents in general. Right? What's this ten of wands here? Some of you guys have worked hard. You don't you're gonna be retiring soon. Hold on, Taurus. <laughs> this is ten of wands. Sorry for shaking the camera. Yeah, four of pentacles. Some of you guys need to. Some of you guys are hoarding a lot of stuff here. You could be hoarding a lot of clothes, just because they may be name brand or then or not. You guys are hoarding something here that you need to let go of. And this could be past. This could be baggage. This could be energy. This could be anything. But you guys are holding on to something that needs to be let go of. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cusp Energy. Somebody could be a December Capricorn or a December Sag. Some of you guys do have a spiritual business here with this, how she's holding a, or some type of enterprise. You guys could be astrologers here. Your crown chakra is very activated or it's trying to be. Because you see with this four of pentacles, the, this pentacle is blocking the crown. This one is blocking the throat and the heart. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there could be some past baggage you guys are still holding on to here. Also, you don't have to do everything on your own. Don't stop being afraid of asking for help and then getting mad when you feel like nobody is here to help you. Oh, especially if I feel like I'm talking to somebody that has Virgo placements, all right? Or sidereal or tropical, especially. What's this for? Pentacles or somebody that's just, is very, your hyper independence is a trauma response, actually. Four Pentacles. <laughs> We got six of cups. This could be this could be because of childhood. Maybe you guys, maybe again, you guys had to figure things out on your own. Maybe you didn't have the opportunity or the luxury of, you know, being a child. Maybe your parent made you feel small if you didn't know something or if you didn't do something correctly the first time. That could be that too. This is also could be repressed trauma, rep repressed pain that needs to come out. That could have been why that anger card came out earlier. And this is why we have this emotional release card. There's a lot of repressed energy that needs to be released. And this may, because it says full moon in Scorpio, this may happen during your season of 2023. So something may be, something may, you may fully be able to close something out permanently and release it for good by your, by Taurus season. Whenever this next full moon in Scorpio occurs, what's this, or maybe you have already, but new beginnings. Somebody could be holding on to your pictures, holding on to the past, holding on to memories here. We got the death card. Yes. Death brings new beginnings. Death brings new beginnings. Temperance angel. This talks about divine timing, divine intervention, divine protection. Something happening. Something. It could be reconciliation. This is peace. Some of you guys are, some of you guys are um, earth angels here. Some of you guys are very peaceful. You're very, you know, some of you guys could be very well-mannered, uh, even-tempered. Some of you guys may have Sagittarius placements, okay, or Scorpio. What's this new beginnings? Or you could be a Sag or a Scorpio with Taurus placements. What's this new beginnings? Yeah, some of you guys have Gemini, too, in your chart as well. What's this new beginnings? Could be Gemini, Taurus, Cusper. Aquarius is there too. Yeah, the I, what the fuck did I say? The war. I'm telling you, Taurus. Something is something is closing. You have a cycle that's going to be closing, or something closed because the full moon in Gemini is Sagittarius as well. So something could have happened during this started this closing of this cycle or this starting of a new one could have happened during Sagittarius season. Because again, heavy Scorpio energy here. Something ended for you guys, so something can begin. There's definitely a transformation, a rebirth. Something here definitely is over. Something is done for good. Something is not coming back to life. It's done. This cycle has closed or it's going to. So there is going to be something that concludes here. 
What's this new beginnings? <laughs> yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Sagittarius, energy. Some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys, you're making changes to your business here. Let me get my baby's horn. She just got up. Hold on. I'll be right back, guys. Right, yeah, some of you guys do have a spiritual business. Some of you guys, again, there's something changing here about your spirituality, your stability here. Okay. Um, this could be you guys becoming spiritual as well as practical. That could be a balance that you could have needed. All right. But yeah, something is something about your stability is also changing too. Some of you guys could be in your Saturn return or closing that out. This is new beginnings. Yeah, the four swords is here. So you guys could be feeling restless, anxious about this closing of this cycle. You guys know something is concluding. Or this could be you guys starting a new cycle. But again, because we do have new beginnings here. So something's ending, so something can begin. And you guys could be feeling a bit restless. It could be hard to sleep. Some of you guys need to get more rest. Some of you guys are being called to rest more because you have a new cycle that's coming. That's that's wrap, one that's wrapping up and one that's beginning. So you're gonna need to kind of have your energy for this. Some of you guys are. Some of you guys are world renowned, or you're meant to be. All right. Also, yes, yeah, like you guys have one foot in the old cycle and then one stepping. It's one that's trying to step into the new. It's like, it's like, eh, it's, there's a bit of hesitation here. Yeah, there's a bit of hesitation, Taurus. There's a bit of hesitation on something. Um, what's this? Somebody, some of you guys may be, uh, somebody here could be sick or not well. What's this death card here? Because that came out in your last reading, too. So check out your last reading before this one. Ooh, Taurus. I was about to say Leo or something or libra taurus we got the eight of wands here so there's communication coming in this could be from a younger earth sign or just somebody here that's younger than you they even if they're not an earth sign they could be any sign this person or something this could be communication that took a long time coming right and i also get once or and for some of you guys it's like once something ends something grow, I'm, I'm telling you rapid growth something ends up growing very fast Something comes in where you got a lot of things that come that are going to be coming in for you, Taurus. Communication. This could have somebody here. This could have taken some time, or it's going to take time. This person wants to come in stable, especially if they weren't in the past. We got Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So clearly, this person may not be on your level stability-wise, whether it's age difference or just stability or maturity here. There is a difference in that, but there is growth here. This is you guys could have been at this Knight of Pentacles, and now you're this Queen of Pentacles, male or female. There's growth here rapid growth there could be travel here something is coming but it's 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 coming in it's not coming in too slow but it's not coming in too fast you guys are learning the you guys are learning what the gray areas are and stuff because the eight of wands and nine of pentacles are two different energies yeah something your ships are coming in taurus something is coming you don't see it some of you guys could be a moon and libra what's this nine of pentacles or somebody is here what's this nine of pentacles or you guys could just be torn between two different minds two different opinions Okay, there could be some alliance that's forming as well between you and someone or your heart and your mind. This is Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Bitch. Oh, oops. Sorry, baby. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Sorry, mama. Knight of Pentacles. You go from the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, to the... Oh, my goodness. 
Look at so okay, we got the ace to the nine to the ten. Taurus. Look at look at look at this. Look at this. Look at all this growth. Look at all this growth. Look at all this. Taurus, the ace to the nine to the ten of pentacles. Y'all are gonna be look at these new beginnings happening. Taurus, y'all, a seed that you guys have could have planted years ago, months ago, is going to bring y'all from the ace to the 10. This, some of y'all could be getting, some of y'all are going from single to married or some. <laughs> yes, Nova, right? I'm happy for them too. Listen, I'm, I'm a Taurus, I'm a Taurus Venus and a Taurus side reel. So yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm happy. This is, this is nice. This feels good. But um yeah, ten of pentacles. I'm telling you something, something is you got yo Taurus, all you know why you guys be making changes to your business or to something here, whatever this is, right? Love it apply it to where it fits. Apply it to where it fits, Taurus. Something is you started something, something is gonna grow rapidly, or it's again it's gonna be it's 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 that because it's the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, which they're, again, the Eight of Wands is rapid growth, fast pace, something coming in fast. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady, finishing what you start, loyalty, commitment, seeing something through. Once you see something through, Taurus, you go from the, you go to this, you get to this Ten of Pentacles. So stay the course. You see how the mountains are here with this Ten of Pentacles? The mountains are here in this Knight of Pentacles. Uh, the mountains are here in this Queen of Pentacles. The, the mountains are here with this emperor card, okay? Where else? The mountains are here with this, well, not ace, but where else? Where's the mountains here? There's growth here. There's there's something, oh, baby. There's something growing here, Taurus. Something is growing. <laughs> something is growing, Taurus. All you have to do is stay the course. All you got to do is stay the course. What's the world for? Wow, Taurus. I'm like... Some of you guys, this could be an inheritance that's coming to you here. Some of you guys could be inheriting someone's home. Of, uh, yeah, some type of inheritance here. Five of Wands. There could be people online on social media that are jealous of you here, okay? Or people could be trying to compete with you. You could be having a lot of people fighting for your attention online, or you could. What's this five of wands? Or you're going to be. Yeah, five of wands is here. I mean, seven of wands. You got the seven of wands here. This is getting out of your own. Some towards this could be you guys needing to get out of your own way here. That could be what the conflict is. You getting out of your own way because this there could be something like that you could be blocking something. What's the seven of wands? Yeah, again, you guys need your you need more patience. Seven of wands. Y'all don't even, man, don't, don't, don't fuck this up, Taurus. Y'all need more patience. Seven of wands. The Empress wanted to come out. Seven of wands. Something you could have somebody blocked here. Somebody may want to somebody you may somebody may want to like be somebody here could be like you could have to defend yourself online. You got Capricorn energy here. I think you have a lot of people that are very upset. You you have to block a lot of people on your on your platforms, on your socials because people are they want to pick fights with you or somebody wants to pick a fight with you. So you have to block them on social media here. Okay, there's something about blocking. There's some the devil energy. Also, what this could be is the devil could be your addiction. This could be your fears. This could be you obsessing you trying to control something this could be codependency it could be any the devil energy could be anything that could be what's blocking your your new beginning or all of this all right five of cups stop crying over spilled milk okay well this is regret here what's this queen of pentacles here the devil is capricorn energy by the way yeah nine of wands stop being so impatient don't be so impatient here
this is somebody that could be a Brit. Some of you guys are gonna have to kind of try to be as try to be patient with somebody here because somebody here could be trying to antagonize you or pick a fight or something because this could be anybody, just random people on social media, somebody in your family. I don't know, but what's trying to aggravate you? What's this Knight of Wands? Somebody here could have a bad temper. Okay, yeah, the tower and the empress is here. So the tower and the em so Venus energy and Mars energy. Mars is Scorpio, Aries. Empress Taurus Libra, which are sister signs. So yeah, again, patience. Try to don't let nobody throw you off. Knight of Wands. Yeah, three. This could be somebody you work with here. Somebody. This could be a classmate of yours. Okay, somebody in your in your neighborhood. You could be trying to co-parent with somebody, and they're just not cooperative. This could be a, a loss of a, somebody. You guys could be breaking a contract as well. Somebody could be losing a job here. This person may need your help with something or you may need someone else's help. What's this three of pentacles? Yeah, page of cups. This could be a child. Yeah, you, might, you guys may have a hard time co-parenting with somebody over a child here. Somebody may want to apologize to you for not working with you sooner, for not collaborating with you earlier. This person could have been, like I said, temperamental, uh, very, um, they could have been a, a bit aggressive. You could have had to even de defend yourself or block them. They could have been abusive in some kind of way. Somebody may want to apologize. I'm also getting Taurus. You're needing to listen to your intuition. Don't follow what works for somebody else may not work for you. One person may get more bees with honey and the opposite can be true to someone else. So you have to find what works for you. What's this for? Swarter? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So again, Jupiter energy, Sagittarius energy wants to come out in reverse. So this tells me that there can be some type of changes happening. A lot of karmic energy in this reading. There's some type of unfavorable change that could be occurring. And that could be making you feel a bit anxious and nervous and restless. Something, because something is out of your control. So you may not like that. And for others, this is just something, somebody, this could be karma for somebody. Somebody is unable to sleep. They're in, yeah, four of cups, two of pentacles. The hermit, which is Virgo energy. What's this with a fortune? Yeah, don't don't say something impulsive. Don't say or do something impulsive. You're going to regret it. Yeah, justice in reverse. Libra energy. You maybe end up on, a, on the bad end of karma. High priestess, you know what you need to do. Pisces energy. And I feel like you know somebody misses you. Okay. But it's like you, you're going to have to stand your ground in something. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you may be a lesson to somebody. You may, that may just unfortunately be what it is. Okay. This knight of swords here. They may get it in the next lifetime, hopefully. Yeah, the King of Cups. Somebody could have said something out of emotion, out of anger. And they could have been experiencing karma ever since. I'm also getting there. There's somebody, there's a change. Somebody's feelings could be changing. Somebody's feelings for you could be changing, Taurus. Or your feelings for someone could be changing. Or about something, okay? Some of you guys could be studying something new here. This could be adding another notch under your belt. All right, but the King of Cups is uh, Scorpio, um, Libra energy, or any water sign. Yeah, I'm getting Taurus. Be you're gonna have to be the bigger person emotionally here. You're gonna be tested in how you may you may find something out that may piss you off. But you're being told to kind of like just like stand down and like keep like just keep it under control. Keep your feelings in control. Keep your feelings in check here. Don't say or do anything impulsive. Okay. Emotional release. Yeah, the Tower of Mars energy, Scorpio Aries. So yeah, there's the, there may be a tower moment that comes in, Taurus, that you could have, I think some of you guys saw it coming, Pisces energy with this high priestess. Some of you guys, again, this pomegranate. Who, I forgot who's reading, I forgot who's reading I set this in to eat more pomegranates for your intuition. Some of you guys, you guys do, you guys do who the throw chakra, so some of you guys are needing to, uh, Tap into that throat chakra. Something about your throat chakra here. You guys aren't speaking up on something. Emotional release. 
or you're letting something build up too. You let something build up too long. Yeah, I feel like something's gonna come away with emotions one day, but it's gonna make you feel free, Taurus. Aquarius energy. You're gonna again. You're starting over. You're gonna. It's gonna help you take that leap of faith. It's gonna help you jump into something. You're gonna say fuck it, and you're gonna do it. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. This is you, Taurus Aries cusp. Some of you guys could be April Taurus or April or Taurus Aries cusp here, or any Earth sign with the Pentacle, King of Pentacles. But again, there's growth from the from the from the Ace to the to the Knight to the Queen to the King, male or female. Your your empire, your enterprise is growing. You are going to be able to have the fruits of your labor here. Uh, yeah. A tower is gonna whatever this whatever this emotional release is, this tower is gonna is gonna actually be very freeing for you. Hold on, Taurus. I'm just trying to. This is gonna be very freeing for you. Very freeing. Whatever this tower is, it's gonna help you let go. Is you're gonna be able to start over. Literally, it's going to be in a new life, a new cycle, a new everything. You're going to be like a, a new kid. A re it's, just emotional release. You, it's going to be one day you just break down, Taurus. And it's all going to just, it, you're gonna, it's going to happen very unexpectedly. You could be in your car. You could be at work. You could be at the supermarket when this happens. It's just going to be an outpour of emotions, a lot of release. And you're going to feel so free when this happens, temperance. You're going to feel much more balanced. It's funny because we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. And one foot is in the water, one foot is on the earth. A lot of majors here. And we got the Empress energy. Hmm. What's this emotional release? <laughs> the Sun card. Yeah, I'm telling you, a new beginning. Yeah, Sun card is Leo energy. There's a lot of pain here, but you guys are going to be able to walk away from something. It's no longer going to be having you restless and anxious. Okay. If you were in that space and in that energy, that's going to go. What's this emotional release? Yeah, the magician. You guys, Mercury energy. Somebody could be a Mercury in Virgo or a Gemini here. Or you could have those placements. But yeah, you guys are going to be able to manifest more. Some of you guys could have manifested this new beginning. You guys are powerful. Okay? You guys are powerful manifestors. Some of you guys are manifesting a child here. We got the hermit card, Vir heavy Virgo energy. Some of you guys are teachers, doctors, holistic doctors. All right, what's this, uh, the tower? Some guys may be a Mars and Taurus too, or somebody could be a Mars and Taurus, Scorpio, Sag, uh, Virgo, or Gemini. We got Page, Aquarius is here too. We got Page of Pentacles. Yeah. There's gonna be something here. Yep. And it's like that, it's that rainbow. Oh, it's that rainbow. What's this page? It's like your inner child is gonna feel so yes. I'm telling y'all something that you're something that you're. Some of you guys could be studying something, but it's bringing you from this page to like this king. There's growth here. It's a lot of growth here, Taurus. You're studying something here that's making you that's you're you're growing. So this is really you're you're growing a lot, Taurus. This is a lot of growth here. A lot of I'm, I'm getting a lot of you guys could be going back to school. Ooh, Taurus, a lot, of, especially your finances are going to be looking very good, okay? King of Pentacles. Whatever this new thing you're starting or what King of Pentacles is going to be, yeah. Yeah, hangman, Pisces energy. You just need to surrender, Taurus, release. Something is changing in your career, your finances, your stability, yourself. Something about your inner child here could be growing, maturing. You guys are going through a metamorphosis, a metamorphosis stage right now, if I'm saying it right. But again, there's that need to surrender to the divine. Like we said, this is like the hangman here. This is all about letting go, suspending yourself, shifting your perspective, seeing something from a different viewpoint. Something could be delayed because something needs to shift first. What's this fool card? This actually turns out better than you expect, Taurus. Yeah, the strength card. The affinity symbol is on the strength card and on this magician here as well. So... Yeah, you have infinite power, infinite abundance, infinite anything you want. All you have to do is be courageous. Some of you guys are Leo. We have Leo energy. Some of you guys could have Leo in your chart. You could be a Leo with Taurus placements. But yeah, some of you guys are going to have the courage to step out and do something new. Do something different. Do something for yourself. Yeah, what's the strength card? 
You guys are very, very, very resilient, very strong here, very confident too. You're going to have the confidence to do something. Yeah, two of pentacles, the infinity symbol again, yin yang energy. This is balance. All right, again, with this temperance, balance. With the lover's card, balance. All right, something is coming into balance here. Mm -hmm. Your finances, this could again something's coming into balance, something's coming into union and fusion. Whether this is you and someone or you and, and yourself, right? Temperance. Yeah, the nine of wands. You guys, yeah. You guys made like sunflowers, grapes. So pomegranates, grapes, sunflowers. Um, you guys, some of you guys love roses, some of you guys like very floral stuff. You could like floral scents or florals, just for like just flowers and stuff, roses, nine of, some of you guys, yeah, nine of wands here. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are having the strength to walk. You guys are walking away or leaving something from um, familiar. And that's what makes, that, you know, your strength, yeah, more sunflowers, Leo energy. Your strength, Taurus, is what makes you very attractive. Some of you guys have long hair, long braids, long locks, long twists, or something, whether it's your real hair or not. Okay, but um, some of you guys are leaving something behind. Some of you guys may be wanting to cut your hair so you can start over, start fresh. I did that. I actually have like a little, like, little cut right now. Um, I had like one side. This, I'm like letting, I'm trying to get it to grow. Well, not trying, but it's growing out evenly now because I want to, I'm going to keep it low for a while. But because um, I still feel like I'm purging some stuff energetically. So I'm not going to grow my hair back out until like I feel like I'm at the space where I want to be spiritually or energetically but um enough about me eight of cups you guys are leaving but leaving something behind you're choosing yourself you're prioritizing yourself this is self-preservation all right what's this eight of cups you're letting something finally go eight of cups and this could be your past this is like this could be love childhood work uh, a mindset yeah ace of swords there's a victory here it's like, you know that, that song? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's like, as, you know, something clears. It's like that tower comes and then something clears. And then it's just like, oh my God, I can see now. And now it's like the path open. That the path is clear now. Now you know. And now it's like you can lay something to rest or you can, or now it's like, okay, I can do this now. It's like something's going to be, something's going to be very known to you. Very, it's going to be, you know, highlight, illuminated for you. The magician. Yeah, there's definitely a new beginning, victory, success, a breakthrough that's going to help you walk away. From, yes, Ace of Wands. You got Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands here. Ace of Cups. So I feel like the only the only Ace missing here is this Ace of Cups. And this may be, again, something emotionally that you guys have. is because you guys haven't emotionally released something. That could be why this Ace, the Ace of Cups is not out here. You guys haven't emotionally released something yet. And if you don't release something that you need to release, you can't accept something. Okay, Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are manifesting something here. This could be what you. This could be like a craft of yours. Or you guys could be realizing that you're, there's a pigeon outside my window right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, it flew away. But yeah, so expect a message from either the divine or someone, Taurus. Expect an unexpected. Expect an unexpected message here. But some of you guys, um, some of you guys could be getting your makeup done. Some of you guys are really good at um, you're really good at what you do. This could be something creative that you do. You guys could be designers, makeup artists, costume creators, and stuff. This is Eight of Pentacles. You guys are great at your craft. Yeah, Five of Swords. I think Aquarius I got something like this. You again, like I told Aquarius, you may have lost the battle, but you win the war. You may look, if you if you if you have Aquarius placements or you're Aquarius with Taurus placements, you, you may want to go check out Aquarius's reading. Or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, you may want to check that out. You may want to look at a, um, Aquarius's reading. What's this five of swords here? This could be um somebody here. Five of swords. Don't say some of you guys. This could be self sabotage. You guys may be you might you guys may have manifested something. Now that it's here, you could be sabotaging it. Five of swords here. Yeah, high priestess. You guys, come on, don't sabotage this. Be, yeah, nine of cups here. Somebody could be overindulgent, greedy. Somebody may not be happy or fulfilled with themselves, so they could be acting from that space. Or this could be you. So just be careful. Be careful with that, okay? 
pieces. You guys know something. So if this if somebody here is like trying to lie to you, if somebody here is trying to wear a mask, somebody here could be a shapeshifter. What's this high priestess real quick? Yeah, five of pentacles. So this is a mm, and the the hermit Virgo energy, three of swords. So there could be some type of heartache in the Empress. So something with the number three. It could be some type of heartache here. All right, Taurus. There's something here that could have been really hurtful that could have happened. Some of you guys may know that someone misses you. What's this? Now it's like, oh, somebody could have, yeah, you could be not. What's this five of pentacles? What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, the sun card. So if, so I feel like for those of you who've been having fertility issues, I feel like um this could be something with hormonal. I, I, I do see some type of. I do see some type of um, success in something here, though. I'm just getting you guys need to release. Let something let something go. Let something happen in divine timing. Cry. Some of you guys need a good cry. Some of you guys need more sun. If you've been feeling tired and sick, it's because you guys need more sun. Your sun could be missing you, or you could be missing your sun here, or somebody yes. is. I'm, I'm just getting, like, there could be abandonment issues here. That you're needing to work through. This could be something spiritual. If you're in this 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 lack mindset or this lack, if you're if this is an actual material lack, this could be something spiritual here. All right. Yeah, we got Venus. Somebody could be a Venus in Scorpio or North Node in Scorpio or Libra or Taurus. Hold on. Then we have Aries. Initiate, open the doors, assert yourself, take action, and realize. So something you guys need to realize. You guys can have abandonment wounds. Yeah. You guys can be feeling very sensitive at this time. Some of you guys can have a cardinal moon, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, or Aries. We have sixth house, which is Virgo. Work, useful activity, everyday life, health, care, and well-being. So some of you guys could be focusing on things in your sixth house. All right, Chiron. We got Chiron. A wound can become a healing tool. A wounded heal, the wounded healer. So some of you guys are wounded healers. You guys could have had harsher lessons than most because you guys were meant to heal and meant to help people. All right. We got Venus here. The lover, the girlfriend, relational, emotional, love, pleasures, beauty, creativity. Something about love, self-love, self-worth, finances. Scorpio, get to the bottom of things. Affirm your power. Transform. All right. We got Cardinal. Start, initiate, open the doors. So that's Cardinal is Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, and Aries. And then we have Neptune. Spirituality, intuition, dreams, idealisms, illusion, the veil. So the veil, the veil is going to be thin with something. I feel like something about your dreams are going to be uh, highlighting something here. That's why you got to get your rest. You could be feeling confused about something, but listen to your intuition because you could be letting your ego get in the way of something here, Taurus, and that and that could be sabotaging something for you, or it, or it can. So there's something that there's some type of negativity that you're harboring that you may not realize. I'm getting it could be don't let don't get don't become so spiritual where you get where it, it, some people they feel like oh I'm better than people because I don't believe in that or I believe in this. Like don't let your don't let your spirituality make you become more egotistical. All right. But anyway, Taurus, this was your this was your Capricorn season message. Okay, like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.